Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. It is now early October and the farm is quite settled. The cows are well fed, the grass has all been done. I'm just going to head over and have a little look at what we were working last time with our, our strip that we put through and my patch that I had to prepare. I accidentally dug it up with a plow because, you know, Mr. Farquhar's an idiot. So this is actually ready to cut by the looks of it. That's the bit that we had to reseed. And this is the bit where we've ploughed up and where we've extended it in. So it's looking really nice. I think that's... I mean, it's not going to give us a lot of yield. I do understand that. But it's better than the painted grass. And I just think it's going to look nicer as one big meadow rather than the little square. And then this bit. Now we're going to wait until this is uh, a little bit a bit more grown. Um, I think we can cut grass up until November. So we might come back to this field sort of late November and get our last cut off this. This may not be fully grown by them, but I may put in the cut grass any time just so we can cut whatever is grown there so that it grows in sync with everything else, although it will die off in winter, but it'll be nice to get that little bit extra off it. And I think at the same time, the meadow that now has the cows back in it, because we didn't roll that one because that was uh, fully fertilised, I think that's going to be ready to cut again come the end of November. We just hoss around and have a little look. So I think here, they sound happy. It's got some good growth on it. I think it's only got one more stage to go, yeah. So by late November, this is going to be ready to cut. So early November, I'll move the cows over. Late November, we'll cut this and we'll cut um, our big meadow. And we'll get some more hay. Because hay is really what we're going to need. We've got a pit of silage. Now while we're here, we're just going to check on our milk. Because if we've got nearly, well we've got nearly 8,000. 8,000 litres is what we're selling. So I'm going to get ourselves, get ourselves, I'm going to get the tractor, we'll hook up our tanker, because I was, I was sort of anticipating we'd have enough milk. I thought we were going to have more, to be honest. Um, I've got us a contract over on field 30, because field 30 is the contract, it's the contract, it's the field right next to the dairy. So we're going to go and do a harvest job on field 30, I believe it was sunflowers, and uh, we'll do a milk delivery while we're there. It just makes sense. All the equipment is uh, sorted and available and ready for us. So we haven't got to take anything over, just ourselves. Now let's try not to uh, balls this up like I did with the um, slurry. I believe this one is a little bit easier to manoeuvre anyway. Just my driving is the issue. <laughs> <laughs> as always right tree in the cab is never good someone needs to shut the window right hooked up and on trying to spin my head round it doesn't go that way that's slurry messed up already messed up already ah What a fool. Right. Let's go get the milk, yeah? <laughs> and I have to remember to open the, uh, the Joskin trailer this time. Last time it wouldn't do it without being open. So I think... Um, there we go. That's the one. Back it in. We're not going to go in the door this time. It was a nice little treat last time, but we want to want to be getting on with things. I don't know how long that field is going to take us to uh, harvest on the contract. But because we've only got one job to really do today, we are running at times ten. I think that'll be uh, plenty of time to get that done. That is max weight anyway. We can only take this at um, 96%. Which is fair enough. 
So I'll head over to the uh, dairy. We'll get this sold. And uh, while I'm doing that, you guys can uh, hit the big fat thumbs up button down there if you're new to the channel. Hit the subscribe. That all really helps me out. It helps YouTube know that the uh, the content is worthwhile sharing and the people are enjoying it. So that would be a massive favour to me and uh, I'll see you at the dairy. So this time around we're going to try and back it on because we did have difficulty selling I think last time. I, I, I just Well, I, I just have trouble hitting triggers I think is the uh, issue. So let's open that up. There we are. It is selling. Now the uh, the collectible up here that we spotted last time is there. I'm not going to get it just yet. I did say we'd wait until the new year. We'll treat ourselves. So that's that sold. Seventeen, nearly, yeah, seventeen and a half grand. So that's pretty bloody good for milk. So uh, must be peak peak season for milk to sell. Just gonna pull this up and out of the way a little bit. Not that that makes any difference at all. It just makes me feel good. So this is our equipment and this is our harvest. We have got this field. It's actually quite a good size. Equipment wise, we have the John Deere T uh, 560i, and we've got the uh, Capello is it Diamond 8. It's sunflowers in it, yeah, sunflowers. And uh, we've got a beautiful... I think the game knows I like them. It started uh, kicking them out for me on contracts. Uh, the Deutz Far 7250. I think we had a, a bigger one last time, but we'll, we'll take this one. And also, we've got a decent-sized trailer for a change. So, again, we, we used to get the small ones, and now it's like these farmers are like, no, actually, we need to give you a little bit more. So again, we've got the Kruger Muck 303. Absolutely brilliant. Should have no issues getting this done now. So we shall jump in. Let's have a... Have we had a little look in one of these? We haven't been in one for a while, I don't think. So, looking good. Probably snacks behind there. That's where the boy would sit, but he's, uh, he's off out today. So let's start her up unfold now since we're in this position I'm not sure should we bifurcate the field just go straight down the middle work one side I think I'm going to need a headland at the other end that's for certain uh, probably going to need one this end as well we'll see right let's lower it down we'll go from outside because I know that's uh, favourable to people First, I need to unfold the harvester. That I do. Getting too keen. Straight down. Pan out a little bit. Just going to turn my headset down because that gets a little bit loud. It never seems to come across overly loud. I think in the uh, in the audio when we release, but sometimes while I'm doing it, it does seem a little bit loud. Uh, once again, I have had a little fiddle with <laughs> my own audio. I think it's a little bit better. I think I'm getting there. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this sounds good. And then I'll record with exactly the same settings 24 hours later, and I listen back to it and I'm like, oh, this is utter Shiite. What are we doing? I've had a fiddle, and it sounded better. Now, that might be because today I'm recording during the day and I can speak a bit louder. So then when I do a nighttime recording and I'm a little bit quieter, maybe things don't get picked up or it doesn't get picked up as well. So uh, I think I have that to consider. Perhaps I need to uh, do a nighttime setting and a daytime setting and sort of write down what they are or whatever it is I need to do. It's, uh, it's all good. We're getting it. Let's say it's, it's still very much a learning process. We are very new still. Things have been going well on the channel, but I am uh, <laughs> under no disillusion that we are still very new to this. Right. And 
again to everyone that has joined, everyone who has been with me from the start as well. You, you guys are not neglected here in the thanks. But to everyone who has uh, has come along for the journey, massive appreciation. Everyone that gives the video a thumbs up, everyone that comments, you are amazing. You're really helping us grow here and uh, helping more people to see uh, the Mr. Farquhar content. I know not everything I do is as popular as the farming, but trust me, I like to do other things as well. So we're going to go around. I hate, I do hate doing a lap, but I mean we've got to get back up the field anyway. So uh, I'll probably go up this top end, or up this side. We'll go across the top, back along, back to the middle, and then up where we've bifurcated the field and uh, they just probably work one side and then the next I think that seems like a good idea I mean we may even need a double headland for turning especially with the trees <laughs> I, I, I am prone to a little bit of runoff as we know and I don't like to uh, disrespect the tree line I do like to uh, and the hedges I, it really frustrates me when, I, uh, when I'm not paying attention or I don't break hard enough and I drift into and through a bush. That's not what we want here. That's not our styley. We are not that free styley with the Bonfunk MCs. Freestyler. Uh, I put that on the other day just because, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm old and that reminds me of... Uh, younger funner party days uh, my partner is a little bit younger than me and um, she'd never heard of Bomb Funk MCs and the Freestyler and she wanted to know what this utter shite was that I was playing and yeah I was a little bit hurt found out she'd also never heard of Shy FX and <laughs> she's great at making me feel old Never mind. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be a full day's work out here on the uh, on the sunflowers. Probably a bigger field than I thought. If we uh, pan out a little bit as we uh, go across, our ah, bifurcation. We haven't like split it completely in half. But yeah, that's a, that's a good size. I think half of that is a decent sized field for what we're normally used to working on. So cannot really grumble at this and quite often the bigger the field the more we get from bonus yield <laughs> that rhymed <laughs> oh dear. not intentional again it's probably probably the coffee again it's, uh, it's, it's probably another good reason why I should uh, record during the night because the coffee is starting to wear off and uh, I'm a little bit more fatigued whereas during the day I'm still a little bit on it probably four coffees in it's around about midday I'm excited to be uh, recording excited to be farming and yeah, get carried away but look at these beautiful views look at this, absolutely gorgeous if we can get a little gap in a tree that might be a screenshot Do, 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 do. That's us at 50% full. I do love that mod. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Such a lovely touch. We've got a gap coming up. We have. We've got a gap in the trees. I think that looks nice. Lovely. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Um, I don't know whereabouts on the schedule this is going to be coming out. I think I'm starting to get a little bit ahead, so I need to... Uh, slow down, do some other things. Um, that is why I do the other games as well, because if not, I, I'd be so far ahead, which isn't always a bad thing, but when I'm looking for feedback and stuff like that, you know, it probably deters people from actually giving feedback if they know that I'm four or five episodes in front. But it does all matter. I, I pay attention to all of it, I read them all, and we can implement it later on down the line. That's not a thing.
Now, I personally would have thought that there would be a bigger corn header that we could have handled on this one. Trying to respect that hedge. So, I mean, I think, really, to be comfortable, I want to do another headland down the bottom there. So I might do that. What we might do is uh, do what we just done. We'll go up, we'll go across that top, uh, down the right hand, my right hand side currently, uh, along the bottom, take another headland off, and then back up. Um, we'll probably be full by then as well, and that'll keep the pipe on the uh, the outside of the field the whole time, ready for an easy unload. I think that sounds like a good idea. And something else that we're going to need to be mindful of as we go around is uh, there is rain forecast. Now I didn't check as to when that would be. I think because <laughs> because it's turned white on the forecast, I think it's pretty much imminent. So when that comes, we'll have to check and see how long it's, it's here for. Hopefully not all day. So we, uh, we do want to get this done. Uh, fortunately, being early October, if it does rain all day, we do have late October to uh, finish the harvest off. But that means we will... Uh, Roll through two days in one episode, which would be a very a first. I don't know what I will say, a very. It would be a very much a first. Where are we at? 96%. Guessing as we go through the trees. There we go, not too bad. Not too bad a guesstimation. We don't want to go over it too much. There we are. Beautiful job. Right, I'll go get the doits and we'll empty this and uh, crack on some more. We'll just uh, <laughs> we'll drive down our little middle route. Oh dear. Love me a doits. This farmer's got taste. Not sure about that taste, but this taste is good. It was something that I felt was missing from 19 and is definitely missing from 22 is modern Deutz harvesters. We had one come up in the mod hub in um, 17 and we haven't had a modern one since, I don't think. The unload is never very quick, so uh, I'll jump, get over there, and uh, we'll crack on. about three and a half maybe four um hopper loads in the trailer so we might be able to get this whole field in there because we're about 45 percent of the way through the harvest i'm just going to take this little bit off the top get that invisible uh that invisible corn as well that's always been a thing Yeah, we, we're getting through it. The rain hasn't come. So perhaps before I start off again, we'll uh, we'll check the weather and uh, see when that's due. Let's raise it up. We can get a bit quicker then. Shot me mark. Yeah. So let's have a look at the weather. Okay, so rain's due around about four. So it's not that long, actually. And then it's in for the night. So we do want to try and get this done. Uh, well, this, we can only work as quick as it'll work, won't it? So, yeah. We'll just have to try and be efficient <laughs> in the turning, which is probably... Uh, <laughs> my uh, 
my downfall. This has taken, what, two, three hours already, and we've only got an hour and a half, two hours till rain. Who knows, we might get it done. If we're really close to the end, obviously, well, obviously we're going to finish the job, but if we're really close to the end, uh, we might wait out until the rain stops around about eight, nine o'clock and finish it off rather than come back tomorrow morning and do it. There's no reason why we can't get a little bit done at night. We haven't done any night work for a while, I don't think. Certainly not here. It's not something I do a great deal of. But the general rule is you s smash out the night work when you're on a harvest. So we're on a harvest, be it someone else's, but they still want it in on time and doing whatnot. Now, just to uh, try and ease my turning, because I keep getting the camera in the trees, which uh, never looks good. I'll take another bit off the bottom here. Just for the turnings. At the top, we're not too bad. We got that little little runoff before we hit the trees in the woodland, so it's not a major issue. Is now five to four and the rain has hit. I was hoping I'd get this full before it got there so we are gonna turn this off because we do not want to reduce the yield because we want to try and get as much of this for ourselves as we can. So we'll unload, we'll get it in here, we'll put the cover on and I guess we'll have to wait it out because there's not much else for me to do at the minute. That's why we're doing this contract. I would say we could take our trailer back with our milk, or our milk trailer back, but we need it to get home. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be a bit of a waiting game. I say if it's about eight o'clock, so it's gonna get dark. So we'll, uh, we'll pop some lights on. There we go. It's getting dull anyway. It's October and it's four o'clock, it starts to get dull. load must be nearly in. Right, we'll cover it up, we'll keep that dry. I suppose we should really close this up as well. So we'll bring that in. Close up. I'm gonna get my phone out, watch some YouTube and uh, I'll see you when the rain stops. It's now ten past nine and the rain has finally stopped. That went on forever. Absolutely forever. So let's try and crack on with this. Open up. Come on. There we are. Got to head back down. Probably got easily another hour's work here. I'd say, yeah, at least at least another full harvester on the field, which would be nice. I'd say that the more there is, the more likelihood of profit. Uh, I think we're getting paid about six thousand. I think it was like six thousand eight hundred, six thousand five hundred, something like that. Uh, probably mine is about a grand for the uh, the borrowing of the equipment so we should if there's if there's a decent price and we've got uh, a good amount of surplus harvest we could make nearly 10 grand on this job which would be immense we got uh, 17 grand for the milk so we could potentially have like 27 grand for the day on a day where we didn't have much to do Which, uh, I'm always happy about. Always like making that money.
That still wasn't a very tight turn, and was it? I gave myself all that extra room, and it still wasn't very tight. Oh, Mr. Farquhar, sort it out. Leave it out, lad. So we're on the last little strip, so... Uh, yeah, looking at the time, we could be home and in bed before midnight. Should be great. Depends on... Uh, where we've got to go to uh, do the delivery. Hopefully not too far. I didn't check beforehand. I just don't... Ooh, that's near where I want to go. <laughs> we'll do that. And I will just pick up the little bits that I missed. Like them ones there. And we'll probably grab the odd kernel of in invisible corn. Uh, not kernel, because we've had sunflowers. It's not corn. I think I've already called this corn twice now. Yeah, you often get an invisible one when it's sunflowers and corn, so we'll try and get them as well. It's been a long old day. Old Farmer Farquhar, he's a tired boy. Up early, working late. And nothing new there. <laughs> Your boy's at it all the time, people. Rafting for this channel, I tell you. Turn that off. Get it over the tarp, and then we'll take the tarp off because you know, backwards and all that. Jump in. There we go. Unload. Now that should all fit in there. Nice and easy. Uh, while that's unloading, let's see where we're uh, selling it. So Mrs. Hooper wants us to take this to the oil mill, which is up at the top of the map. We've not been up there yet, so uh, yeah, why not? Let's still do that. We're full? We're full. All right, let's go, people. To the oil mill. Oh, that is heavy. Look at that. We're at seven miles an hour. I wanted to try and take this journey in. Hopefully, once we're rolling, we'll uh, we'll pick up a bit of speed in the Deutz. Come on, don't let me down, Deutzy. Show them you're a monster. That was good. That was good harvest. We got 36,000 litres in the end. 96% full in the trailer. Oh, perfect size trailer. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty decent. Happy with that. Get to see a little bit more of the map. It's a shame it's at night. Would have been nice to have seen this during the day. Perhaps we'll get a little jobby up here at some point. Or perhaps what we should do, although I've picked out three fields I want to buy that I can't afford yet, perhaps we should get a field somewhere else on the map just to make us go out and do some exploring a bit more because you've got these lovely roads that weave in and out and in between and all about it's rather nice I didn't turn the beacon on so we need to keep an eye out for actually where this mill is I think that's another farm I think the mill is, was right near the top weren't it Our farm is not far off over through there. You can get to us from the top here. That is a good feature of this map and of uh, Riverview that you can wind through all the fields and get absolutely anywhere and everywhere all the time. Yeah, that's the track. You can take that track and that will take us right down to our farm. Absolutely brilliant. I think we... Can we come in here? We're going to come in here. Yes, we can. That, that was the way in. So that was good. Nicely done. Well, this is a, a fair old few litres to be dropping off here. Probably, yeah. Uh, probably fill it up. Right. Let's have a little... Uh, 
Let's have a little look outside. I'll unload if we can. There we are. Again, I'm parked right in the trees. That's my thing. Come on, trigger. There we go. Seven grand. Seven and a half grand. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like I say, about six grand for the job. Over ten grand today. Off that. Plus the milk. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, we'll get this back to the field and uh, collect our payment there. So I've turned it around for him. It's ready to leave. And the lights off. Right, let's go jump in our little John Deere. We'll uh, just give him a phone call, let him know the job's done. Yeah, it's just going to pay us uh, five and a half grand. So that's uh, 12, nearly 13 grand off that. So plus the 17, that's 30 grand for the day. Awesome. Right, and with that, it's time to go home. Which means it's the end of our episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down below. Plenty going on. Let me know what you think. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.